So the other day I posted on my Facebook, I think it was Facebook, that our salaries need to increase as fast as these prices are increasing. And I don't know about you, but inflation is kicking my butt right now. I'm doing all the things. So I'm couponing, I'm buying the groceries that are cheaper so that I can make the meals. So I'm setting my meals and everything around what's on sale at the grocery store. I am, you know, getting the deals, finding the deals, making sure that I just save money wherever I can, however I can. And sometimes it's just, it doesn't feel like it's working. So I was like, okay, I need to figure out a way to do better with my saving or with my, you know, with my money right now, because it's crazy. And I know people are going to say, well, if you don't like your salary or how much you're making at your job, then just change jobs. That way you can increase your salary because they say that when you change jobs, you can increase your salary. I get it. Yes, you can. However, I like my job. (laughs) I worked hard to get to where I am today. So if you like your job and you worked hard to get to where you are today, why would you just instantly quit your job and then go somewhere else? Why would you do that? So my point is I get it. Yes, you can increase your salary by changing jobs. But in my situation, I don't want to change jobs. So I'm going to find some other ways to save money. And on top of that, I was like, I want to help come on here, of course, and help you guys because we're in this together, right? So I came across this, uh, a couple of videos and a couple of articles about spaving. And I was like, what the heck is spaving? Do you know what spaving is? Because I know now, but at first I didn't. And they were saying how this is a way that they are trying to get us to spend more money and make us think that we're saving money and that it's basically a detriment to people, especially middle class people that are trying to survive. Uh, Spaving is not beneficial for everyone. So basically spaving is spending more to save more or the the idea that you're spending more to save more for example like those larger stores um, I won't say any names of stores but those larger stores that you go to and you buy in bulk and in actuality you might be saving over time maybe because if you buy you know we buy our toilet paper paper towels and all those things in bulk that's a savings but If you're buying uh, certain things and then they spoil or they go bad, like the other day I bought uh, three cartons of milk, the cartons, three things of milk um, and because they were in the package. And so luckily my great grandmother taught me that you can freeze milk, right? And then use it later. So I spoiled froze the other two and I put the other one in the refrigerator and then I was able to pull them out. But you know, what if you didn't have freezer space? And so you're basically buying all this milk for what? Um, so in actuality, are you really saving anything? Are you really saving money when you're spending more? There's also deals where you buy one, get one, you know, buy one, get one free, buy one, get one half off. I haven't really seen a lot of the free things, but I've seen the buy one, get one half off specials. And so you're ha- um, basically having to buy more to get the discount. But what if you don't need the more? What if you just needed the one and now you purchase the more so that you can basically save a couple of dollars? Um, Is that really beneficial for us? Is that helping us, helping us get ahead, helping us to to survive? So a couple of things or I wanted to come on here and give you a couple of ways that you can possibly save money 
Um, instead of spending more to save more, these are things that you could do on a daily basis that would possibly help you um, to save a couple of dollars. One thing that I do, like I said, I coupon. So when I go to buy groceries, even when I'm going to like a local food location and they have coupons that they come in the mail, I make sure I use those coupons or take advantage of the sales. There's a, uh, if you go to fast food restaurants, for example, there is a fast food restaurant that has a deal on Tuesdays and take advantage of the Tuesdays. Also, a lot of those restaurants have rewards, not just fast food restaurants, just restaurants in general. They have reward programs. Take advantage of the reward program so that you can get money back or money off. Grocery stores have the same thing. I have a grocery store that I go to regularly and I'm able to save money up. And then at one time, um, they will give me like $20 off my whole grocery order. So those type of things can help you actually save money. The other thing I, I remember coming on here and giving information about the Chevron app. That's a way for you to save money at the, the pump. So if you're buying gas and you're able to get that discount, you can use that. Also, if you have Cash App or even Chime, those two cards now have deals that you can take advantage of. So when you go to a store, they'll give you like a percentage off of whatever you're purchasing. And that's a good way to save money as well. The other thing is I also said that I uh, plan my grocery list around my, no, I plan my menu around the sales that are going on at the grocery store. So if I know that a pack of chicken is maybe 99 cents per pound this week, then I will make sure that I incorporate chicken into a meal. Or if I know that there's something else that's on sale, I will incorporate that into a meal. I buy coffee on the regular. Now, one time, sometimes the coffee might be $12 at the store. Other times it might be seven. I try to make sure that I buy my coffee when it's $7 so that I can save up the money. And when I do buy it, now that's one time that I do buy in excess, I know that it's usually $12. So when it's $7, I'll buy more than just one of those bags of coffee. So these are some things that you can implement into your day-to-day -day life to make sure that you're making the changes that you need to make to save money. So why don't you put in the comments, let me know what are some of the ways that you save money on a day-to-day -day basis or on a weekly basis or even on a monthly basis so that that can help all of the rest of the people that are watching this video as well. They can read the comments, they can see what other ideas people have in order to save money. And this is a side note. I was on here and I made a video talking about um, how to get a month ahead. And a person in the comments talked about, I wouldn't listen to someone who is in credit debt. Now, I understand that maybe you would think that the person that might be in debt, in credit debt, um, maybe doesn't understand how to spend money, save money and manage money. However, I am a seasoned accountant. I've been doing this for 20 some odd years. I'm also uh, well managed with money. I'm also an auditor. So the thing is that you have to realize that everybody is different. Everybody has things that they're going through. And hopefully no one got offended by that comment because you know, people have lives. We go through life. We have day-to-day -day things that we're going through and you might not be able to sustain your livelihood all the time. There could be an emergency. There could be family issues. There could be things that come up and sometimes you might have to hit into your credit cards or get credit. You might have to get a loan. You might have to touch those things to get ahead. So by all means, if you feel like you are in debt or you're having issues or financial problems, do not be discouraged. Do not feel down. Do not feel bad. 
Do not get down on yourself. Know that you will be able to pick yourself up out of these hard times. Know that if you put the right things in place, things can change in the positive manner and know that you will be okay. So I hope this information has helped you. I'm Chantrell here at the Financial Spotlight. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you can get more tips and tricks like these. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye. Hey, have you had a chance to join the family yet? If not, go ahead and click the subscribe button and join the family today. And also turn on those notifications so that you can know exactly when we're going to post here on the Financial Spotlight channel. All those juicy financial tips and tricks for you. We'd love to have you.